Get it on with Jessica Dawn, next on the Chris Top Program. I get get Dollar Dollar Shave Club blades delivered, so I always have a shave with a fresh blade. Does that make me a genius? Yes. Yes, it does. I use the 4X, a.k.a. the Lover's Blade. Just go to thechristopprogram.com and click on the Dollar Shave Club link, and you will never spend a fortune on shaving again. You might look at it as a great close shave experience, but I look at it as one step closer to being awesome. Thank you. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. You can be the tech in the Chris Top program. I am the one and only Chris Top. <laughs> you can be the tech in the Chris Top program. Broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment. The busy R and the Diggy did the worst and that of that class back in 1976. But didn't know about the World War I was a whole different game being played back when I was a kid. Wanna get down in a cool way? To yourself on a beautiful day Big bell bottoms and groove along And just walking in style With a part of an empathy play You can listen to the music On the Chris Top Program You can hear the music On the Chris Top Program You can hear the music On the Chris Top Is the Chris Top Program. Broadcasting live from Nashville, Tennessee, at the uh, where are we broadcasting from? I forgot. The Elm Hill Pike. At the at the, what is it? American, American Legion. Legion. Okay. See, I'm starting to lose my mind now. We've been doing this since eleven o'clock. So I, I tend to forget. <laughs> I tend to forget things. So Jessica, how are you today? Now, now you just schooled me because you said Jessica Dawn is not country in this in this case. Been I've been I got schooled, so it's not. Nashville is known for country, but there's actually all kinds of music. You're you're right. So you're right. More pop rock genre with maybe a couple of songs that can cross over to country, but definitely I'm a more pop rocker. So. I apologize for stereotyping you. No, I no should have problem. never done that. No should have never done that. But <laughs> when I hear Dawn, I think a Delta Dawn, like yeah, you know, like we talked about. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the problem. Maybe right. You need to Maybe. Can you do a can you do like a gangster pose? That's good. I mean you look totally gangster. <laughs> you look right. I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> now where where are you from? I'm from Virginia Beach. From Virginia Beach. Now what brought you to Nashville? Why not New York or um, somewhere in California? Sure. Whatever. Sure. So, um, yeah, and someone told me that there was all kinds of music. Mm-hmm. And that's why I, I thought it was just country. What? Were you the same way? I think it's just what's publicized. See, uh-huh. see now speaking to the public. Right. Well, it's know, not it's country rocking. music city. It's blue- exactly. It's music Thank city. You. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're you're you're. I'm learning things from you. Yeah. So so how long have you been in Nashville? Eleven years. Eleven years. Yeah. Now, when you first got here, when you drove here, I'm guessing. So was that your first time in Nashville when you when you got here? I came to visit for like two weeks, mm-hmm. um, maybe six months. Okay, so you weren't totally overwhelmed when you got here. I was um, a I little guess. bit. I mean, I just kind of came here and um, took in the scene, did a couple open mics, and it felt I felt more at home here than I did growing up in Virginia Beach. Oh, that's cool. So you weren't intimidated or anything like that? Because I, I can see how that would happen in a place like Nashville if you're an artist. You think, but I mean, maybe it's to each his own. For me personally, it's inspiring to hear other people. And mm-hmm. because I've been playing so long, um, I notice that everyone has their own style and their sure. own... Sure. Uh, I just love that. Everyone is so unique. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's more inspiring than like some competition, whatever. And I also moved knowing that I wasn't trying to be like the next Carrie Underwood. I had like my own, you know, mm-hmm. uh, style going. Well, you're trying to be yourself. I'm just trying to be myself, so you can't really compare. Yeah. Well, I'd rather you be yourself than the next Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Or any anybody. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like two Lady Gagas. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's better just to embrace who you are and be your own 
Now, who who's like your uh, who who are some people that you love to listen to? Like, what types of music do you like? Oh. If if I were to go through your iPod, like, okay. what would I find? Oh, I've got I've got everything literally. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorite bands is like Led Zeppelin. Oh. And then, and then but then I like some of the pop, like Maroon Five, and I like Muse. And um, as far as the girls, like. I love what I call the Lilith period. Uh-huh. Like Sheryl Crow and Fiona Apple and yep. Vanessa Morissette. Those are like my girls, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sarah, what's her name? Uh-huh. Yep. Her, like Carol King and Janice, you know, old mm-hmm. school. I just have it all. So. Nice. So, so is there going to be a little bit of all of that in, in your stuff? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I'm just going to be, I'm going to be J-Dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Now, if, if people want to uh, want to find out more about you, like buy some merchandise, maybe download some songs, see you on YouTube, uh, is there like a particular place they can go online to do that? Yes. Uh, you can go to iTunes. Okay. I believe I have four songs um, on there. And, and hopefully I'll have a full album. But nice. That will be. And maybe in the next six months, year? What are you thinking? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, okay. We'll shoot for that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, and if they go to your website, what's your website address? It's jessicadawn.com. D-A-W-N. D-A-W-N. Right, okay. So they can go there and get links to everything. Yes. Sweet, sweet. Now, what are you going to sing for me right now? Because I'm excited. Um, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I think I'll do, um, I think I'll do a song called Boomerang. Boomerang. Mm-hmm. Okay, so did you write this yourself? Yes, I write all my own stuff. Do you want me to, am I doing two? We can do whatever you want. We can, you want to do two? I mean, are you comfortable with two? I'm going upbeat and then the uh, tearjerker that kind of goes with the okay. theme, I think. We can do that. Now, what's what's Boomerang about? Oh, Boomerang is a good old X song. Oh. <laughs> Everyone needs one of those. Oh, so this is like a, a this is like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you back song. <laughs> yeah, you'll hear it. Yeah. You'll hear it. Now, has, has he heard it? Um, yeah, but he doesn't know it's about him. He doesn't know it's yeah. about him. No. You didn't tell him? No. Okay, no. okay. All right, yeah. so okay. Enough. And if, you know, if he's smart, he'll figure it out. So he's been he's been Taylor Swifted. <laughs> yeah, you go right ahead. It's it's your show now. You got it.
That is so much fun. That is so much fun. What a great idea. I guess that just hits you one day, right? Oh, yeah. See what I did there? See what I did? It hit you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. That was It's catchy. Yeah. Oh, it's catchy, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna get. It's, it's, uh, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's gonna stick in my head. That's the no, only thing. Oh, that's sorry. the only thing. You'll be in the shower tomorrow. Going, what yeah. the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so, if somebody wants to get Boomerang, uh, they can find that on your website. Actually, no. <laughs> okay. Now, I didn't play a song. The, the, okay, well, the next one. Um, the next one I do. Now, is it gonna come out on your EP, uh, Boomerang? Or are you gonna release it as a single? Um, or I would love it too. Hmm. So. so we'll just see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, so any superhero power, what would that power be? Ooh. Yeah? Wow. I had to pick just one. I just threw that one out at you. Out know. of the blue. I know. I wanted, to, I wanted to catch you off guard is what I was trying to do. I mean, flying would yeah. be cool. Yeah. Being invisible. Everybody says flying. If you say invisible, it just means you're a pervert. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, actually, I know what I, I think would be awesome to teleport. Yeah? Just basically time travel. Right. That would be cool. That is definitely Where, where's the first place you'd go? Back in time? Like yeah. to what to what era? Um got oh. Oh, how about uh, 1969? 1969. So would you hang out with Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix and I all those? Like, yeah, I'd like to see uh, Woodstock. I'd yeah. like to kind of feel that energy when you know. That would be cool. I mean, just that era of, mu- of music and all the right. change that was going on. You probably wouldn't remember it when you came back though. That'd be the only downside. I'm you guessing. Can't, you can't. I mean, isn't that the superpowers that you're supposed to <laughs> No, I'm saying it's 1969. There's a lot of stuff going around. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> what are you saying? Like, what's right. the teleport back? I'd be like, where's right. the logo? So, I mean, if you, if you live through 1969, you probably don't remember it, is what I'm, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, everyone was, like, tripping. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, I could see you opening for Janis Joplin. Really? Yeah, I mean, so if you got to pick anybody throughout history to open for, who would it be? Living, living, dead, doesn't matter. Who, who would it be? Um, okay, like, if I had, like, my dream band, mm-hmm. it would be kind of close to Lenny Kravitz. <coughs> okay. And I think he would be pretty awesome to open up for. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, are you saying that because he's talented or because he's hot? There's a difference. Um, oh, he's definitely hot. Right. I'm telling you, I've always been a fan of his music. I love a little okay. bit of the throwback funk rock in there. With gotcha. The band, you know, the background singer. Section, he's got organ, mm. you know, he's didn't he sing American movie. Woman? Didn't he mm-hmm. sing it? I love that. Yeah, yeah, that's a great, yeah. That's a good song. Now, uh, okay, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Okay. Now, you don't have to answer. This is the only question I'll give you a pass on. Okay. If you don't want to answer it, then you don't have to. All right? Okay, I'm ready. So, okay, so when people go back and they listen to this and they see your picture, a lot of the guys will be like, is she single? Oh, well, that's, that's no big deal because I'm single. You are single. Are you single and looking? Anything. Are you single and looking or are you single and happy? I'm single and happy, but I'm one of those people where I don't I don't need to always be in a relationship, and I'm not going to force it. And so if you know the right guy comes along, I'm open to it. You know now, I mean? if if the right guy comes along, is he, is he going to take priority, or does he have to understand that music is your priority? I feel like you shouldn't have to choose. I I feel like if you have a right the right guy, he knows that you're pursuing your dream. Mm-hmm. And that you know this is my passion, and this is what I've been working so hard for. So he should just be supportive, and I would be sure. supportive with whatever he's doing. Sure. Now, is he is he going to be a part of the industry or outside of the industry? Um, okay, I've dated some musicians before, and not so much. <laughs> so, right. So you're um, done. You're done with the musicians. But but I need a creative type. I, so mm. any any sort of creative person. Sure. Um, doesn't have to be. Maybe a, a painter. Anything. Yeah. yeah. Painter, writer, film. Sure. Any probably anything but a musician. I mean, that's funny. I've gotcha. Just been <laughs> Right. I mean, unless you want to write some more good songs, then you might have to date some more musicians, know, and you can right? <laughs> <laughs> then you can Taylor Swift them, right? I can Taylor Swift them. So funny. Swift right. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, now you've got a more serious tone on the next song. Okay. Yeah. Well, I okay. thought maybe you know it'd be good, good contrast to the boomerang. Okay. Okay. And so, and you wrote this song yourself as well. I did. Yes. And now this one actually is on iTunes. So okay. So people can, if they go to the, your website, then they can find this one. Uh, through your website on iTunes. Okay. Okay.